Me bust it, bust it. Hey, y'all. Hey, I haven't seen Jonathan in a while. Jonathan don't get paid to come to work, so he just show up when he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you look young and you look great. Look at you. You're like, ah. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. And I mean, the roller coaster, fine, well, finally somewhat landed here yesterday. So getting right off the plane, right into a family barbecue. So it was, I mean, oh, wow. I mean, and the family's quite big. So it was, it was quite an intense time. And I, it took me like three hours to unpack last night. <laughs> I was passing out in between. <laughs> so it's been quite an interesting journey, most definitely. And now I have to absorb and contemplate and, and ground the experiences and and everything is just lining up you know like you know what we were talking about and there's just more there's more gems along the way right that you just like oh that came out of nowhere so i will share more you know? more more to follow huh more to follow mm -hmm. more to follow mm -hmm. well terry is here with us. Um, we got Jonathan, the first lady, Erica. We got Terry over here on the wheels of steel. Like, <laughs> all flewed out. All flewed out. Wait till you guys find out. We're all flewed out, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so exciting. I'm trying to make this so that when we're talking, the, the screen changes, and I'm not, I'm not having that. Weird. Okay, so Terry, uh, Terry and I were talking today. So I'll pin me. I'll just pin me right now. So because I, I gotta get you involved in my madness and my nonsense. Because I know Jonathan be like, you need to worry about other things, Erica. Just be free. <laughs> I'm like, no, because I saw it and I gotta say something about it. So get it out the system. Get it out the system. Get it out the system. <laughs> So today, this was so funny. I, I might even show it on my page, but we're trying to figure out why black people are offended, white people are offended, redhead people are all offended. Everybody's offended. And why? Okay, so today it was Caucasian seasoning. And so <laughs> on the shelf, it says Caucasian seasoning. I'll find it for you. Because I like stuff like this. I think it's freaking hilarious. But anyway, um, so someone was offended and they said that is like Soylent Green. Soylent Green is people, right? You remember that, right? That movie Soylent Green? And they yeah. said it was people. So evidently she thought that since it was Caucasian seasoning, it had to do with basically saying white people seasoning. But you know, that's not what it has to do with at all. It has nothing to do with white people's seasoning. Um, I want to go find it. But who cares? Okay, so, so I, I was like, well, I know what Caucasian means. A lot of people don't know what Caucasian means. They think the word Caucasian means white. Do you know what it means, Jonathan? Caucasian? Mm, nope. So we're going to do. Sounds like a blend, a blend. Boom. Look at you. Check out the big brain. You, you mm. can see it. Yeah. That falls on top of it. So Caucasian, I, I had to tell her like Caucasian is not, doesn't mean white. Like it can include white people. Whatever you want to call, whatever that means. Because I hope people know, like, these words are, like, made up words from, like, the 1700s. Mm -hmm. You know, 17 and 1800s, they, they, they come up with these classifications because you got the black laws and, and the word black and the word white. Because before, white would be, like, um, positive energy vibration. Black would be dark energy vibration. It wouldn't be people's color to skin. We didn't have these races, right? So this is in the 1700s, they established this thing, the Caucasian race. And so these would be people in the Caucasoid Mountains, right? And so there was Caucasian, Europid, and then there was a, a Caucasian, there's Mongoloid, and then there's, 
or cauc caucasoid, mongoloid, and negroid, right? But the, cauc the Caucasian people would have been, oh, it's right there. People in the Caucasoid Mountains. So this would be like people in Russia. There's these countries, I can't even name them. They're just in, in the main country is Georgia. And so it shows it's 50 ethnic groups. So you were right, it's a blend. Look at this, it's like all of Russia and down wow. below Russia into Iran. It includes the top of Africa. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Black Sea, let's see. And so somehow in America, it's become the meaning of the word white. So there's this season and here it is. And it was called Caucasian spice, but it really just means the spice from that region, like Asian seasoning um, right. or African seasoning. Wow. And so it was like, this isn't funny. This is rude. This is not fair. <laughs> and it was like, okay, <laughs> it's not really what you think it is. But I feel like sometimes people are looking to be offended, but we, we, we spend so much time lacking understanding of words. Just like Kamala Harris is Caucasian. People don't know that, but she's Caucasian. Why? Because her family is from the area beneath, which includes Asia. You know, and so it's Caucasian, you know, so Indian people, I don't know if people know that now in the census, Indian people are a part of Asian. I, people from Iraq, Middle Eastern or Arabic people are now Asian. Hmm. That's the classification. So I posted this about the dog, the Caucasian shepherd, along with all the other stuff, just hey, let's just have a discussion about the word Caucasian. So then someone said, hey, are we eating dogs? And I said, what? Did you read the whole post? We, we're not eating dogs. We're just discussing the word Caucasian. You know, a Caucasian shepherd, like a German shepherd. Mm -hmm. So then another Black person comes. So this is to non-Black people. I'll just say that. And then a so-called black person, I say so-called because I, I really think like, uh, you know, African-American, black, I don't know what, what we need to be right now, but people. But uh, she came along and she was like, offended now, you're offended because the dog is called Caucasian. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like if somebody saw Caucasian seasoning and they're offended as a white person, they were offended because it's called Caucasian. And then now the black person's like, well, what the hell? We, <laughs> we got black people seasoning, white people seasoning. Well, we don't got African-American seasoning. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's a place. This is a real thing. Like this is a place like a German shepherd, right? It's a Caucasian shepherd. So unfortunately, everybody just thought it meant white. But I, I mean, the bottom line for me, me and Terry, I was like, oh my God, my chest. I'm so tired this morning because <laughs> I don't, I don't, everybody's like looking for a reason to be offended. But the problem is in America or I guess modern times, like the word irregardless, that's not a word, right? But people right. use it incorrectly for so long that they put it into the dictionary. Do you know that? Not to know that. Yeah, I wrote about that one time too, because I was like, irregardless really isn't a word, but it is now. But when we misuse a word or we substitute a word so much, we now change the meaning of the word, but now we can, it just leaves more room for miscommunication. Because I know, they would call that antiquated or what do you call it when the word is no longer relevant? Well, I think antiquated would probably be a good word for that, but I'm not sure if that's the right word for it. Right. It's, it's something similar to that. And so while we consider the word that like someone who lives in England or maybe somebody who lives in Sweden might use it differently. And uh, we've gotten to the point now too where we're communicating with people all across the world and we can't be too quick to be offended. We have to ask people what they mean or what they thought or, 
or why did they say things so that we really understand what it is that they mean. What they, what's that saying when you when you assume something, you make an ass out of you and me, right? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, yeah. We just have to pause and observe for well, go to the two side to the two sides. You have yours and then okay, what okay, what did they actually mean? Maybe I'm overstepping, right? Yeah. <laughs> And I think, mm -hmm. you know, I was just going to say, people are so easily offended these days by what other people say and how they've put the word, uh, put it into meaning. And, it, you know, it, it even goes back to us texting. Well, Ooh, what did they mean by that? You know, you've got how many characters can you text with and you're going back and forth and all of a sudden people are, are, um, assuming things by the words or how you've responded to a text and they're taking it out of context right and so every time you type something you've got to be you're not sure whether you're going to offend someone because people are going to be offended by everything and I think that's that's the that's the bottom line of the whole woke community is everything everybody's offended by everything else and it's like, oh, my gosh, you're eating beets? That's red. <laughs> Big deal. Big deal. You know, like, are you are you a racist because I'm eating beets? Or I, I like, I happen to like, you know, like white potatoes? Does that make me a racist? Girl, why are you always eating white potatoes instead of red potatoes? Or I could be offended because you said red potatoes because... Are they was Native American? Or... <laughs> are they red potatoes? Surprise! <laughs> Yes. <laughs>